Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Bill. I'm that expat prepper that lives in the Philippines. You know, it's been a while since I've done a brain dump and it has been hectically and crazy busy here the last six, seven months or last six, seven weeks, I should say. And that is why you haven't seen a lot of the normal videos I do. Um, it's basically been down to just the product reviews and that's it, guys. But, uh, you know, it is December 23rd here in the Philippines and Christmas Eve. So it's going to be Christmas, you know, within 12 hours or so from here. And I wanted to get the video out and just kind of do a brain dump. Now, I didn't script this. I actually just found myself with an extra 15, 20 minutes. And I thought I'd sit down and, and talk to you guys. Now, I'm still stacking. Um, budget aside, because end of year, we have a lot of expenses for the businesses you know, um, taxes for the properties, as well as, you know, getting ready to renew things. Also, typically, all of our insurance policies on our vehicles and stuff tend to need renewed. So I'm still buying, I'm still stacking. Um, those few of you guys that enjoy those videos, I do appreciate it. I keep looking for new and unique things. Um, you might not see as much uh, because yeah, I'm running out of things to prep, in, in my opinion, you know, gadget wise and thing wise. I really need to find time and focus more on uh, learning how to use some of the things I got. Like, you know, I bought that f fishing kit and I got all the survival fishing gear I'll ever need, except I haven't even opened it and uh, used it yet other than for the video I made on it. I wouldn't mind getting out and taking a break and fishing for a little bit. It's been many, many years, but uh, yeah, so, you know, I, I'm obviously still stacking the pantry, which we eat out of quite a lot if you haven't seen my pantry videos go ahead and check those out uh, I keep adding to it um, I do videos every once in a while but uh, you know only when I kind of get some new stuff something unique right how many times do you want to see me stack spam and tuna you know macro let me know if, if you like that kind of content comment down below but uh, you know I keep getting stuff in all the time I, I got some new tents that came in today that'll probably be in the next what did I get video um, as well as some more macro and yet another case of spam. <laughs> like I said, how many times you guys want to see that, you guys let me know. As far as um, prepping things, you know, I'm just in a pretty decent shape out here. You know, there's some site security stuff I want to work on. Uh, I got a particular CCTV camera that's not functioning well. Um, and I'm going to swap that out with one that I don't use as much that has a different angle. Um, while I figure out what's going on with that camera, because it's in a primary location. I want to keep that view, as they say. And uh, I got some other site stuff I want to work on, some minor security stuff. I got some solar lights I want to hang that I that I picked up. Those are working out pretty well for us. They're kind of neat. They're, uh, what, $3 each. They'll charge all day, and then when they turn on, I just turn them off right at dusk. And then uh, late at night, they'll come back on um, by the setting, you know five hours, six hours. So they'll run late in the night. Or in, in our case, we had a power outage and I was able to walk out there and just turn them all on. So that's kind of neat. But, uh, you know, I'm saving up to do the third floor, guys. So if you watched any of my construction videos from almost two years ago, you know that I'm building a big site out here and I would like to get the third floor completed or at least started um, this upcoming year. So that's a big budgetary item. Obviously, it's going to be just around 2,000 square feet or, you know, 290 square meters, however you guys do the math. So I want to get that third floor completed. Uh, medical supplies, I did pick up some more because we've been cold season here. We've been burning through bioflu and panacetol. So I went upstairs to get some more and realized we were down to just a few packets. So I ordered some more of that. And, uh, yes, yeah, prepping-wise, I'm doing pretty good. Now, you haven't seen any freeze-dries videos for a while for me because I have a lot of freeze-dried food um, to the point where space is kind of an issue. I think I might just start doing some videos where I'm going to start cooking some of that stuff and then do new videos replacing it just so you guys can see uh, the freeze-drying process. If you haven't watched any of my freeze-dried videos, and you know not many of you guys do, but I do have quite a lot of them, I, I don't show you everything I freeze-dry, I just show you every unique item that I run through the freeze-dryer. Um, and I've had some uh, failures. <laughs> Go watch the pudding one if you're curious. What's it like to fail when you freeze dry an item? And uh, no, 
I'm not doing candy. I, I suppose I couldn't have downtime. That's just to me a waste of uh, electricity to, to, to make freeze dried candy. I, I know a lot of people say it sells well, but I'm not looking to sell freeze dried food. Now, geopolitically, uh, all the things that are going on have just been insane, right? I, I, I juggle to keep track of the facts in the fiction and in the in betweens and everything between the U.S. government and, and the fiasco it's become. Um, and, and let me be clear in case some of you guys are confused. I didn't like Trump and I didn't like Biden. You, you know, I, I I think Carter's the last president I cared about at all. And, and unfortunately, he couldn't get much done because of the government, right? This government and the insane division between laws and stuff is just breaking my heart it, it, it truly is but uh that aside you know uh i feel for you guys still in in the u.s trying to deal with that you get a senile old guy the senile old megalomaniac and you get to choose Jeez, is, is that the best is that what america has to offer i, I can't even believe that uh, a thing you know kind of one of the reasons i'm here in the philippines anyways um argentina's shuffling things around they just lost the money from china because china's getting bankrupt they can't keep doing their brixton roads initiative or whatever they're calling it and argentina's sniffing around at uh, a land grab but i don't know if they have any power to back it up and let's see what else they you know, ukraine looks like you know I'm, I'm just tired of watching ukraine i got and understand why the world dumped money into Ukraine to stop and slow down Russia, but talk about a long drag, right? It, it's just been mind-boggling um, how that situation is. I feel so sorry for the Ukrainians and the regular Russian people that are just getting slaughtered um, due to ignorance. I don't know, another megalomaniac that's in his 70s. And that's what the world needs to do is start uh, thinning out the people that are in power they can't tie their own shoes, I guess. What else is going on? You know, Israel, um, man, that's a that's another hot topic. I I was really shocked by what Hamas did, and I was really for Israel. But again, Israel and the IDF ha have a really heavy hand, right? They just do things, um, in my opinion, that are above and beyond. And then. The, with the Houthis or whatever they are in, in the Red Sea, you know, that's just insanity too. I mean, you got conflict everywhere and I'm just tired of drawing the, the lines from the pins and the maps. Bottom line is, is the world's really screwed. I, I think because the economy's a lot more screwed up in all these countries and people will admit, um, they're trying to figure out, you know, what to do. And a wartime economy in the wars have been actually proven to help the victor, right? Not necessarily the loser of the war. It's sad to say. Uh, drought is still a big issue, right? The, the El Nino is still a thing. The uh, Philippines out here has been warning uh, pretty consistently about water shortages and upcoming drought issues. Uh, even though it seemed like it rained for two months straight, it's, it's still a big concern. Uh, I guess Panama Canal is having issues with uh, sourcing enough water to let ships float through it. But uh, I talked about that last year. What else is going on? Got uh, cost of food, right? How much? How much? How often have I talked about the cost of food and, and shrinkflation? I mean, there's just so many things as a prepper on my mind all the time that uh, you know I just keep my head down, I keep stacking, I keep trying to learn when I find time. You know, I've been a bit distracted with. Uh, uh, earning money, you know, on a couple projects that actually pay me. So those have been keeping me pretty busy, as well as uh, a side project doing that game development stuff, which has uh, been keeping me busy but entertained. And mental health wise, I needed that distraction, right? So I can dump my mind into developing that whole game. And I kind of let the stress and anxiety just slide right off my shoulder. Uh, speaking of shoulders, I got a new chair. If you guys are paying attention, my back was getting sore. I was spending, you know, 60 hours a week um, in front of this computer, grinding away at the work and projects and stuff. So, you know, I'm taking care of my physical and mental health. End of the year, 
Um, things that are unique about Philippines is all the kids that bang on your door and shout and ask for money. Sorry, guys. I had to pause as my love of my life called me. Otherwise, I wouldn't. But if my phone rings, it's her. I, nobody else can even make it make a sound. It pretty much denies everybody everything. Anyways, I apologize for the uh, blink in the video here. But it kind of did break up my rant about the world and stuff. Uh, new chair, uh, new back pains I'm trying to eliminate. I've been sleeping pretty well. Um, I don't know that I'll do another video between now and, and the first of the year. I, I just don't have any content that I'm excited to show you guys unless you want to see me do some more August and farm food. Um, but I'm going to, and I got a lot of backpacker hiking freeze dried food I want to show you guys because some of it's garbage and some of it's good. And uh, I like to know what it, what is what so I can add to my pantry, even though the ROI is pretty high on some of that stuff. But anyways, guys, hey, I'm going to wrap this up. This is my, I guess, end of your mind dump. Um, the year is as bad as I thought it was. I got very fortunate um, that we had no major crisis that affected us personally here. But I can't say the same for some of my friends and family. And uh, I honestly think next year is going to be worse. So keep stacking, keep prepping, keep learning, and please be safe. Thank you.